Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. And we're gonna be looking at the past, present, future energies for you regarding love and a little bit about your energies and this other person's energy that you might have been dealing with already or will be dealing with in the future. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's just jump right in. So for Libra spirit, what messages do you have for Libra regarding love? For Libra, what's coming their way in love? What do they need to know regarding love? What's going on in their connections? This is for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. And as always, um, especially in these readings, the energies can be reversed. I'll have you on one side and them on the other. Feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. What is going on in their connections? You deserve love, you're lovable, and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Mm. New love, and you deserve love. Interesting, and then have past life relationship at the bottom of the deck. So there could be past love and new love here. Two people, two different things. There could be also new love with someone that you've already been with in the distant past. So let's see, let me put this over here. Let's get some more information I'm using my new Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This isn't for sale yet. I, I actually am still debating whether I wanna put this for sale, but you will see it in the readings. It's very similar to my digital deck that I have in my shop, but some there are some differences, especially um, I've added more cards and changed some of the messages. So. Anyways, I love using it. So we're going to be using it in these batches of readings. So tell me more about what's going on for Libra in love. Tell me more about what's going on in their connections. Here. Oh. Divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny, trust in divine timing. We love that. So divine timing is at play here. Anything else? Anything else for Libra regarding their connection? Wishing well. Wish, desire, request your wishes being granted. Wow. So Spirit is bringing you something that you want. Something that you have desired here. Bottom of the deck, we have breathe in. Take time to meditate and relax your mind and body. Meditation, rest. I'm seeing this as you don't have to do anything. That's the message I'm getting here. There, this is no, there's no action needed on your part, only trust. So let's see what we get with the tarot. I'm using the tarot of the Grand Lux today and the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot to clarify. All of the decks that I use are linked down below. Tell me more, Spirit. What does Libra need to know regarding love? There you are, Libra. With the King of Wands reverse. Mm. Justice. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit, regarding this connection. What's going on for Libras in love? Ten of Swords. Wow. So there has been some sort of ending here. An, a cycle has ended. Ten of Wands reversed, definitely. <laughs> a cycle has ended and a burden or an obligation has been dropped or something no longer weighs heavy on this connection or on one of you. Because this could be you or your person having, um, uh, having this situation happen to them. Um, both of you could be here or one of you. Um, your cycle has definitely ended here. A burden has been dropped. What's going on in this connection, spirit? Five of coin. It hasn't been easy with the five of coin. There has been, um, I just heard departure, which is weird. Five of coin, that's, that's not what that card is about, but I'm picturing someone walking away from something else, and it's now like there's been a loss of some sort. It could be financial. For example, I'm picturing someone like leaving a job, leaving a home, or leaving a person. 
and it wasn't easy i have the ten of swords here as well this is a difficult ending so a difficult ending has taken place and someone feels left behind this could have already happened in the past or is ha happening now let's get some clarity here let me clarify for libra please what's going on here i do reversals if you are not a fan of reversals you probably don't want to watch my readings my deck is half upright half reversed because of the way that i shuffle so like i always turn cards around and shuffle so there will be a lot of reversals that come up. It's not that my deck is upside down. It's just that deck is half and half. So if you're not a fan of that, then I suggest you look elsewhere. I'm only saying that because I've gotten a lot of comments recently and people just will not give it up. <laughs> they will not give it up. It's like they find your channel and they want you to do exactly what they want. It's like, well, if you want things a certain way, then start your own channel. Anyways clarity please for Libra tell me about this ten of swords what happened here with the ten of swords <laughs> the ten of swords reverse okay so this has already happened it's what this card is telling me and also you are ready to move on or someone's ready to move on whoever has had the difficult ending is ready to move forward tell me about the ten of swords this could also be someone needing to forgive or be forgiven nine of wands reverse someone's no longer guarded or resisting someone is no longer i'm, I'm just getting no longer burdened emotionally um physically tell me more about the ten of swords the star reverse aquarius energy so someone here is probably um whoever this is that has had this ending they feel like they have not gotten their wish and that's why wishing well is here something feels hopeless faith is hard to come by someone feels like it's hard to have faith this is also someone that still needs a lot of healing so even though they're ready to move forward there's still a lot of healing that needs to happen here a lot of self-care it's probably why breathe in is here take time to meditate and relax your mind and body so there's there's healing that needs to take place or is is happening right now um this could have this could also have been something that already happened a, a painful ending that happened in the past but someone's still not completely over it tell me more about the ten of swords yeah this could have been a, a commitment that was broken or someone is suffering or dealing with a financial loss and it's interesting i have the sun at the bottom it's like they're happy that this happened or this is what they wanted which is kind of interesting because this was very difficult i could tell that this was a difficult situation tell me about the ten of wands reverse what's this about there's the ten of wands reverse Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? Ace of Wands reverse. Okay. Eight of Cups reverse. The Hermit reverse. My God. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. There's Divine Timing. So Divine Timing is coming in, I feel, because something is not going right here or something was not meant to work out. Virgo energy with the hermit reverse. So someone made a wrong choice here with the seven of cups reverse and the ace of wands reverse. Someone made the wrong choice and I feel like they want to return. Like these two cards, it's like they withdrew from something and they want to return. I'm also picking up some of, for some of you, this person, whoever is wanting to return is blocked from returning. Um, but I think that's where divine timing comes in to clear out this block. Tell me about the eight of cups. 
Okay, three of swords reverse. Another card for healing. Tell me about the eight of cups reverse. This could also be a third party that someone is trying to leave. Tell me about the eight of cups reverse. Yeah, this is someone that they want to talk. They want a second chance, judgment at the bottom. Um, they want to fix something here in their life or with you, Libra. Yeah, this is this is requiring a choice and they're have to, you know, they're independent, um, free of something here, free to choose something else, probably waiting for the right time. Why is the five of coin here? Why is the five of coin here? The world. Wow. Okay. New beginning, new cycle. So we have the ten of swords and the world. So something definitely has ended for something new to begin here. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So this is this is what I see. I see an offer here being extended. I see someone going after a new beginning or having a new start. It could be a new start with you. It could be a new start to get to you. Or it could be that you are having a new start away from this person. It'll be different for all of you. Tell me more about the five of coin. The devil, Capricorn energy. And again, we have judgment. So I, I'm getting the sense that someone wants something here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart, or it could be that um, there's some sort of, well, actually, let's ask, what is this um, devil about? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Yeah, someone's breaking free of this. Someone's breaking free of a, a situation that they got in that they shouldn't have gotten into. Whatever this Ten of Wands, I feel like these are connected. This was a chain around someone's neck and someone wants to break free from it. Ooh. Yeah, this was a past mistake. So I have the Five of Cups in the bottom here. Um, someone made a past mistake um, and they had they made a mistake because they didn't have all of the answers or they weren't honest with themselves or with someone else and it got them into a difficult situation with the devil now they want to break free and have a new beginning so let's see what else we can get here about the two of you specifically ah Tell me about these two, um, Libra and this other person. Tell me about Libra's energies at this time, Spirit. What are Libra's energies at this time? Fear. Okay, so you're scared of something, anxious about something. Fear is holding you back. Okay, what about the person that Libra is dealing with? Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. So this is the person that's leaving a situation. Now, keep in mind, you can flip these if they resonate more for you, but to avoid confusion, this is your person and this is you for me. So your person's moving forward into a new chapter. Okay, so let's get some more information using the animal spirit deck here. Tell me more about Libra and their person. Tell me more about Libra and their person. Tell me more about Libra's energies in this connection. Tiger. So you're, um, I feel like you're scared to go after what you want. There's anxieties about making some sort of move here with Tiger. Tiger is very similar. Yeah. The mouse at the bottom. Tiger is very similar to the Queen of Wands. So I feel like there's something that you want, but I feel like there's fear or anxiety there. Something's holding you back. And it's because you're thinking of, like, it's like a nervous energy. You're thinking of the little the details of something. Um, I feel like you're focused on the wrong thing here. 
Tell me about Libra's person. Bear. So this is all about a new beginning. So your person's all is just focused on a complete new beginning for their life. Um, yeah, so that's where their head is at. Um, they're thinking of something new. So let's see, let's get some more information here. Tell me more about Libra and their person. Now, if this is resonating for you, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if it is. Um, feel free to share whatever you're comfortable sharing. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to keep up with the readings that are coming out in the future. Tell me more for Libra. Tell me about Libra's energies. What are they thinking or feeling towards this connection or this person spirit? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So you definitely are trying to make something work. Perhaps there's patience needed here. Divine timing, another card about timing and strength. Courage, Leo energy here. Courage is needed in order to make something come together. This is about bringing something under control in balance here. It's like you're thinking about how to make something happen, whereas your person over here, they're kind of just like ready to move on um, and have their new beginning. Tell me about Libra's person. What are their energies? What are they thinking or feeling towards Libra or this connection? The Hermit. Yeah, this is somebody that's thinking about their next steps. Someone that's quietly planning listening to their intuition and um, oh yeah they're definitely planning something seven of swords this is strategy st strategic thinking being sneaky um, perhaps even they have to be not very ethical I'm getting someone that's like sneaking away in the dark or something like that um, but this does not have to be negative energy with the seven of swords this could be somebody that's trying to think outside the box we'll clarify and see Oh, to two of cups reversed. So this is about some sort of disconnect in a partnership. Help me clarify for a Libra, please. Why is temperance here? The magician yeah you are working on manifesting something here with the magician the, with the magician and the wishing well this there you're wishing for something you desire something why is strength here four of pentacles because you're holding back or protecting yourself maybe courage is needed to let something go or to open up here tell me more about strength oh Tell me more about strength. You're thinking about money. Something with money or opportunity here. Um, you could be thinking about someone who's already in a commitment or wanting to be in a commitment with someone, wanting to be with someone stable. Who is this King of Pentacles? What's this about? Okay, so this is a choice that you need to make here. Okay, Page of Cups. Ace of Swords at the bottom. So perhaps you need to open up to someone and be honest with them. Um, maybe you need to apologize or you're waiting for an apology from someone. Um, I feel like you've been holding on to something here. Some Something regarding communication with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. And I feel for some reason you want it from this King of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign. It could be someone who is mature stable financially um, secure or perhaps this is you you know take it as it resonates but I feel like someone has been very careful with money or is holding back here regarding it's like you don't know what to do so you don't do anything perhaps this is someone that's making you an offer and you don't know whether you want to take it tell me about the hermit temperance again so you're both like on the same trajectory here in this in the sense that something is slowly coming together for you Libra and for your person 
Tell me about the hermit. Yeah, this is someone that wants to leave a situation. Your person definitely wants to leave a situation. I feel like there, yeah, there's opposition here to your person leaving a situation. There's setbacks probably here, delays. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Maybe that's why they have to exhibit, like, get into the Seven of Swords energy. Wow, the Knight of Cups. What? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Interesting message I just got. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Swords. Communication. There's definitely communication taking place here. It's almost like some, you know, in the message that I got earlier when I was like, that's a weird message. It's because this Knight of Cups, when he showed up here, I thought this person's using their words to get out of something or to be strategic about something. And then the Ace of Swords came out. So definitely, this is someone who's thinking about what to communicate or what to say in order to have something be successful here. Because right now, they're not sure that something is going to work out with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, or they got themselves into a situation that was a bad investment. Um, it didn't go anywhere, it didn't grow for them, and now they're thinking about how to get out of it. Because there's delays here for your person. Something's getting in the way for them. So what are their next actions going to be? What are their next actions going to be towards Libra or their connection spirit? What are their next actions going to be? What is this person's next actions going to be towards Libra or this connection? What are their next actions going to be? Seven of Wands reverse. Page of Cups, okay. What are their next actions going to be? So they're going to be talking to you here. Three of Swords, wow, Five of Cups at the bottom. There's regrets here. I feel like they're gonna apologize. This Page of Cups with this Three of Swords is like they wanna apologize for hurting you or they wanna express something to you. And I feel like this is gonna be new for some reason. So some of you are dealing with someone that you've already dealt with in the past and they're coming back to apologize or start again. And others of you, this is someone new coming your way, but this is what they're experiencing right now, whether you know them or not. They're having a new beginning. This person is moving on past a cycle they were already in. And it's only a matter of time with temperance here for them to come to you and I don't know it's almost like it's going to be difficult for some reason like a difficult conversation or it's going to be apologies for difficult or conflict that has happened already uh, because I have the three of swords here I feel like someone's going to get hurt here or wants to apologize for the hurt they've caused take it as it resonates seven of wands reverses someone that no longer wants to fight um or is fighting for something like stubborn, like they're being stubborn and they want to keep fighting. But what I'm getting here is like, there's no more, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want things to be difficult. They could even have gotten rid of the opposition or the challenge or overcome the challenge. And now it's like, all they have is words. <laughs> they're spent, you know? Anyways, I'll leave it there, Libra. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.